Hi, my name is Hugo Scheitauer. This is a video series on automatic text recognition and you are watching our fourth video on layout analysis. Layout analysis refers to two processes, identifying the structure of a document and localizing the line of text. You can also find it referred to under the expressions segmentation, zoning, document analysis, or optical layout analysis. Layout analysis is a computer vision task wherein we generate a series of X and Y coordinates corresponding to regions or lines drawn on the image. Sometimes they are associated with a specific label demonstrating a distinction between different types of regions or lines. Layout analysis can also include the computation of the reading order of the lines. For example, if you have a page with two columns of text, you may want to read the first line of the first column and then going to the second line of the first column. A bad reading order would move from the first line of the first column to the first line of the second column, and then to the second line of the first column, to the second line of the second column, and so on. Let us see first how region segmentation works. The components to identify in segmentation can include text blocks, tables, columns, headers, footers, etc. The goal is to segment the document into meaningful regions that can be further processed or analyzed. Let us take an example. We have here a poem called Le Pont Mirabeau, written by Guillaume Apollinaire at the beginning of the 20th century. We segmented and labeled all of the zones that feature semantic components with the help of an annotation software. The layout is relatively simple, and we have drawn bounded boxes around the page's number in blue, the title in purple, and the stanzas in green. All of these elements are now annotated as text regions and have a label that corresponds to their function. Detected bounding boxes are usually polygonal or rectangular. To understand how text line recognition works, we need to explain what is a text line in the context of layout analysis. Inside segmented zones, there are lines of text. In most cases, when you segment a text line, two elements are extracted at once. First, a base line or a top line, here in red, which defines a virtual line passing through at least two points on which the text is written or from which it is hanging. And second, a mask, here in purple, which is a polygon defined by at least three points. It delimits the area of pixels containing the text of the line. The mask is usually automatically calculated by the automatic text recognition system you are using based on the top line or baseline coordinates. When we perform line segmentation, we want to precisely detect text in an image. This is crucial as most of the current state-of-the-art ATR machine learning models rely on correctly extracting text lines before transcribing them. There are two approaches for text line segmentation, both either manual or automatic. A baseline or top line is drawn before the software calculates the corresponding polygon or a bounding box is drawn around the line of text, meaning we only have a rectangular mask without necessarily having a baseline. You are probably wondering what must be annotated on an image. How you decide to segment your images actually depends on your editorial and scientific goals. Let's go back to our previous example. We could, for instance, have decided to segment all the verses in Apollina's poem inside the different stanzas. Also, we voluntarily omitted some elements that could have been segmented and labeled, namely the printed folio numbers and the number written by hand in red. But for the purposes of this tutorial, we have chosen to remain at the macro structural level. Region segmentation and line segmentation are not mutually exclusive nor do they need to be performed at the same time. Many segmentation models can do both at once, while some are trained to do only one. In fact, if you want to simply perform automatic text recognition, 
identifying the regions on the document is completely optional, while detecting text file is mandatory for most transcription software. Therefore, segmenting the text document before transcribing it is the usual workflow performed by most ATR systems. However, keep in mind that this field evolves quickly. For instance, segmentation-free systems already exist. In most software, segmented zones and lines can be given a label to identify their class. Control vocabularies exist to homogenize the terms used to identify these classes. They provide a predetermined list of standardized terms or phrases used to describe and categorize data. Control vocabularies ensure that your data is consistent, everyone working on a document use the same terms to describe text zones, searchable, searching and retrieving specific information is made easier with annotated documents, interoperable, as the annotation is standardized, data sharing is facilitated, and reusable, an ontology enables you to mutualize annotated data. We recommend using the Segmento ontology. It is a controlled vocabulary to describe the content of books or manuscript pages. Using the vocabulary offered by Segmento, you can standardize your labels when annotating the layout of your documents. We need layout analysis to distinguish between two things. First, the necessity of layout analysis for text recognition in particular. And second, its usefulness to process the results of text recognition. Indeed, ATR only generates the transcription while the layout analysis provides us with more information to understand the structure of the resulting text. It can be very useful for constructing paragraphs, identifying the titles, etc. So, in other words, we need layout analysis at line level for text recognition. But as far as the regions are concerned, it is not necessary but rather useful for other tasks. Text line segmentation is mandatory in most ATR systems. Without a good text line segmentation, transcription performances won't be sufficient because a line will be missed, read in the wrong order, or broken down into several lines. Remember, however, that recent advances in ATR have led to the creation of segmentation-free text recognition systems, as well as text recognition performed at greater level than lines, such as paragraphs or even entire pages. Text region annotations are useful in the context of digitization and creating digital editions. It allows information extraction and document understanding. Raw text, as opposed to structured text, presents limitation for extracting and processing the information it contains. Without finely structured content, we provide the machine with the graded version of the document we want to process. We thereby limit its ability to reproduce the information extraction that we, as humans, would be capable of. Without spatial and logical information, the content becomes nothing more than a continuous text without hierarchy, especially when we are dealing with highly structured content such as gloss text, tables, dictionaries, and so on. Extracting the structure allows us to retain semantic meaning embedded in the layout. Layout analysis is necessary to get to the text level, but also to the page level and the document level. It allows us to get information about the document itself, namely for downstream tasks, such as facilitating the navigation inside a transcribed document, reducing the scope of queries, ignoring sections, plugging different tools to process target regions depending on their class or content, or simply to represent the logical structure of a document. Layout analysis is often included in most ATR systems like Escriptorium or Transcribus. But there are also tools designed only for layout analysis, such as DHSegment or Layerx. Additionally, there are environments designed for any type of image annotation, including layout analysis. 
for example, Label Studio or RoboFlow. Layout analysis can be done manually by drawing bounding boxes or text lines, or by using machine learning models trained to do that task. A segmentation model can learn how to segment text lines and regions and how to label them according to an ontology. There are four methods to perform automatic layout analysis. With convolutional neural networks, with transformers, with object detection models, or with heuristics or rule-based methods. It is possible to save the results of layout analysis. Annotations are usually stored using specific XML standards, such as Alto XML or Page XML. TI XML is also able to record this kind of information. Actually, the question of the output formats will be covered in the last video of our series. Alto and Page have their own schemas to store the details of the layout of documents, combined with the text resulting from ATR. They work at the image level. But be reassured though, annotation files are automatically generated by ATR software. It is up to you to choose the format you prefer working with. But beware that Alto XML is more widely used than Page XML. Remember also that TI XML can be used to store layout information. So choose the format that is best suited to your goals, whether it is to create a dataset, a digital edition, or anything else. All right. Now you are all set to use layout analysis in your ATR project. In the next video, you will learn about text recognition and model training.